out there, you too. What's up, Team Hollywood? What's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. What's good, everybody? What's good? If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are back on Madden 25 franchise mode. And uh, I'm going to give you guys my new set of slider sets, man, with the update from the uh, the title update from the game guys uh you know that the zones are better the whole defense is playing better with the cpu guys um but i think their offense is playing even stronger so we had to make some changes guys but so here you go we're gonna we're gonna make this real quick these sliders are gonna be fun <clears throat> they're gonna be simulation and they're gonna be tough all right here we go let's go to the sliders again Let's go down. You see they're all pro simulation sliders. Got all pro simulation sliders. Do whatever minutes you want. Um, let's see, let's see. All these no all this stuff right here, you can do whatever you want, guys. It really doesn't affect the gameplay. Your reticle speed, do what you want. Go in practice mode, find out what's comfortable for you. A lot of people try to put it on numbers that other people tell them to put it on, but it's it's what's comfortable for them. Your, your how you press the buttons, your, your how you hold the buttons, how you everything you do regards on this number, guys. So you want it to fit you. You want to customize it to how you press the, the buttons on, on how you pass the ball. So go practice mode, but mine is on six, all right? Um, we want to go, again, we're going to leave injuries at zero. Injuries, are, to me, are broken and mad. Never been really fixed. Um, fatigue at 60. Play, pair to speed, leave at 100. And we're going to change this to 20. We're going to change the physics-based tackling results to 20. All right. Now, let's go into franchise mode. Make this real quick, guys. I don't want to make this a long video. We're just in here for the changes, and that's it. So we can get back to balling. You know what I'm saying? We can get back to balling. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. settings we go to gameplay sliders and here you go guys quarterback accuracy might be seen kind of high but you're gonna need to it needs to be a this 65 works out perfectly I try to make it fair as possible because a lot of times when you throw beautiful passes for some reason the CPU gets in a way with the way the defense is so strong they get in the way and you it, it really kind of defeats you in a way and you, sometimes your, your ball might hit off your receiver finger or it doesn't line up with his hands, stuff like that. But accuracy, man, that ball's going to get right there at 65. Pass block 80. Because what I realized was, if you saw my last stream, guys, and I did more practice after that, your, your, your receivers don't even get halfway through their routes. And you're already getting pressure. You're already getting sacked. Especially if they blitz. You ain't going to have no time. So... 80 gives you a fair amount of time to throw the ball. At least let your receivers get out so you can pick a receiver to, to, to throw to. Um, but there's still going to be times you're not going to have no time to throw, guys. But 80 is a fair um, uh, number for pass blocking. Wide receiver catching 60 because a lot of times your receivers will not catch the ball. It seems like the receivers are dropping more balls now after the update, okay? So 60 is a fair. They're still going to drop balls, but 60, you're going to catch the ones you're supposed to catch. Run blocking 70. Um, again, the CPU, they're, they're going to be block shedding like crazy, guys. Um, so 70 is a good run blocking. Mitch, it's still going to be tough to run the ball, but we got to make it fair. Uh, um, balls and make it tough for you so you don't say that running is too easy like I hear some people say ball security 55 because I've experienced also the ball can just bounce off your receiver and it hit the ground and it's a fumble okay so I don't know some t the game is a little wonky in that area so ball security you need at least 55 um, reaction time for a pass reaction time you need it at 100. Interceptions, you want it at 60 because your guys were not catching the interception. I tried it, guys. You need at least 60. They're still going to drop some, but you need, they can't catch everything. But you still, you need a 60. Pass coverage, 100. Because the CPU, the quarterback, is like, he looks like all world, okay? Uh, tackling, you at 50. Uh, their quarterback accuracy is at 15, guys, because I had it at 20. They weren't missing any throws, guys. Before, in my in my sliders, they were missing throws. 
but now they're not missing throws so we dropped it down to 15 and you're going to see a throw here and there they're going to miss a throw um, pass blocking 30 um, so it gives you time to get pressure you're going to get a lot of pressure trust me you're going to get pressure but there's going to be times you ain't going to get no pressure so it's, it, it weighs out depending on what team you play wide receiver catching 45 because their receivers were not dropping anything before they were dropping passes on my slide they weren't dropping anything uh, after the update guys so 45 um, it, when, when they increase and make the game better or the defense better but somehow it affects their whole game so everybody's playing out of their minds okay on the CPU run blocking 30 for them ball security 42 because they never have any uh, fumbles no nothing 42 is probably about right uh, pass defense reaction uh, 25 interceptions 49 you guys see the numbers man and one thing about Madden sliders man it's like you try to contain water but somehow that water sleeps and finds somewhere to get out through a crack or some people like how did that water get out water can find ways to get out of anything guys so it's kind of like Madden sliders when you put restrictions or adjust their sliders that water comes out some other kind of way and you'd be like wow look at the gameplay now so Tackling, you see the numbers, guys. Everything the same here. Injuries again, zero fatigue, 60. Minimum player threshold stays at 100. Um, the, the speed uh, still uh, works out. Um, I put the penalties at so 51. Um, these at 51 because they weren't getting any penalties. No holding, no offsides, uh, no false starts, nothing. Okay, so I put them at 51. Now you start getting too many. I haven't seen any yet, but if you get too many, drop them back to default. You know how mad it is, man. Again, it's like water, right? You can't contain it, man. So even if putting it at 51, they might go off. That's why um, defensive pass interference, you got these on, okay? On, intentional grounding, roughing the kicker off. You put it on, hey, man, that water's going to get through. It's going to be a lot of roughing the kicker, a lot of running into the kickers. Keep it off. Illegal contact seems to work pretty fair. I like when it calls illegal contact. But go, those are the sliders, guys, real quick. Um, it's really hard to uh, program this game on sliders, guys. I wish it was all default. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, here they go, guys. Uh, make sure you're doing player skill. Don't be looking at player skill and put in CPU. Don't be looking at CPU numbers and putting it in player skill. Make sure you have the right numbers. Okay, guys? All right, there they are, there they are. Be careful when you're putting numbers in. Sometimes people do it too fast, all right? Let me know if you have any questions. I'm Hollywood Sports. Go balling, guys. Go win some Super Bowls and kick that CPU's butt. And I will see you guys on my next video.